So one fluid that gets really neglected on these cars is the fluid for the clutch master cylinder. Clutch master cylinder is right here. It takes the same brake fluid as the brake master cylinder. So yeah, this guy needs regular service too. These, this fluid gets dark really fast and uh, the danger of um, the deterioration of that fluid quality is that you don't get complete and consistent um, clutch disengagement which is hard on everything, the hard on the, you can imagine if the clutch isn't completely disengaging. It's tough when you shift, it's tough on the clutch itself, tough, tough on the rest of the drivetrain. So commonly, commonly neglected, but this is a really important fluid. So we're gonna teach you how to um, bleed and flush this. So if we look on the bench right here, it's got this black, float thing. I'm not quite sure what it's for, but you need to clean that up. And um, the reservoir, the junk gets um, on the side of this guy. So I'll suck out the fluid and uh, spray brake clean and get some paper towels and wipe this guy clean. So we'll top this guy off with fresh brake fluid and then we'll lift up the car and start bleeding. Cool. All, right. All right, so how do you bleed the clutch hydraulic system? So we're under the car, this is the clutch slave cylinder. This is the bleeder nipple. So this is what a, where you uh, the brake fluid exits out. So if you have two people, you want one guy to step on the clutch pedal and then open up this bleeder and then uh, fluid should come out. This, you don't wanna pump this because if you pump it you're just gonna stir up the air in it it's not like brakes where brakes you build up pressure so clutch is different step on it once open the bleeder and then uh, repeat step on it once open the bleeder so um, a secret a lot of people don't know about you can uh, what really helps you bleed the slave cylinder by itself um, if you can imagine this guy never fully gets depressed so um, fluid and air gets trapped in uh, the slave cylinder. You'll notice when you bleed the slave by itself, your your, pe your pedal will firm up. So, so yeah, how do we, how do you do this? So I, um, oh, hold on one second. So this just captures all the old brake fluid. So how do I do this? You can take this and push this guy back in to fully depress it. And when I open the bleeder, some fluid should come out. No fluid came out, which tells me there's a lot of air in the system. So I'll close that guy again. You'll see the piston go back out and do it again. Push this guy in, open it. No fluids coming out. Close this guy back up. Watch out. Give this a few more fluids. Oh, you can hear it. Fluids coming out. Yeah, you keep doing this, you'll notice it'll get harder and harder to push this back in, which means that, that um, you're pushing all the air and all this, the junk out of this thing. All right, that was a very firm press.
That should be good. We'll do the last of this fluid. Yeah, that's how you bleed the slave cylinder by itself. And then you can see in there the fluid's coming out clean, so I'm happy with that. Alright, cool. Let's go road test. 